Hey everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome to episode 13 of the Pokemon Premier League! I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting for this battle. It is Cuddle of Death versus the King Nappy, so this could be an interesting battle considering Nappy hasn't won one yet. And Cuddle sits at the top of the table right now. Yeah, this could uh, be a turnaround for Nappy, hopefully. Yeah, so let's get this started in our very first random battle of the tournament, or league, or whatever you want to call it. So, without further ado, let's get it started. Nappy's first Pokemon is a Magneton, while Cuddles is Ghastly. a Ghastly. She switches out the Ghastly into a Groudon. That's a good pick. That's not bad for random. No, nah, out comes the Scrafty. We That's got... not bad for random either. We got the Sunshine from the Groudon. Out comes the Rotom. He must have misswitched there into a Scrafty because he took it straight back out. Groudon does a Swords Dance. Will-O-Wisp is going to lower that Swords Dance. Dragon Tail comes out. It's going to force the switch. Out comes a Ladybug. Aww. That's unlucky. That's not so lucky, no. <laughs> Another sword stance, because Cuddle knows Lady Bar isn't going to do anything. He went for the Toxic, despite the fact that Groudon's burned. He may have forgot, I'd assume. Sets up Reflect, which is a good idea. Gives these Pokemon extra defense on his team. The burn keeps taking down that Groudon little by little. Maud's sword stance, that Groudon is sitting at times four attack right now. A Burmy for his other Pokemon. <laughs> Nappy did not get two great Pokemon there. Hidden Power. Oh, the Hidden Power almost takes down the Groudon. And the Dragon Tail does nothing, but it forces the switch and out to Monferno. So that's Nappy's full team out. <laughs> Whereas Cuddle still has four mystery Pokemon. Hidden Power finishes off that Groudon and Can down- bring out another Pokemon. See what she's got. Down goes a Legendary. There's a Pidgeotto right now. I wouldn't now. mind a Pidgeotto. Nah, that's not too bad. Rotom's out, going for that electric. Goes for work up. Cuddle liking them stats at the moment. Willis Wisp is going to burn the Pidgeotto as well. Nappy going for all the burns. Resist Brave Bird. I have to say, at the moment, I give the edge to Nappy. He's just got the reflect. Even though he's shown his full team, he's got all the status moves. Whereas Cuddle has stat building moves. Out comes the Dustox. Ladybird's out. She switches the oh, Dustox oh, back oh. out for Ghastly. I went to know what the other two were. <laughs> Lady Bar used the baton pass. Out comes a Scrafty. Gotta imagine he's going for a crunch or something. She sets up a substitute. There's the crunch I predicted. It's a substitute all for nothing. Ghastly gets health back from its black sludge. Goes for another substitute. Nappy go for the dragon dance this time. Trying to increase the speed. Cuddle's going to get a free move off here. So you can only wonder what she's going to use. There's a sludge bomb. Takes him down to lower than half. Lucky he didn't get poisoned right there. This random battle is quite back and forth for a random battle. Hmm. Resist the Shadow Ball. Out, gonna, out comes the Crunch. Takes down the Ghastly. Are we going to see a new Pokemon? And Nappy is now six Pokemon up to four. Out comes the Manaphy. There's only one all right. <laughs> Cuddle is getting all the legendaries. Scrafty goes to sleep. This, Scrafty, this random Scrafty didn't come with a Chesto Berry though. No. Oh, the Shed Skin wakes it up though. Just as good. Crunch comes out on the Manaphy. Ice Beam. This Scrafty is doing work right now. Well, Cuddle seems to be struggling to deal with it. High Jump Kick finishes off the Manaphy. And Nappy is six Pokemon up to three. He's doing well. He is doing well. Out comes the Cypher. That could be dangerous for him. Takes it down to 12. Yeah, pretty much. Crunch comes out. Takes the Cypher down to half. But Cypher's so freaking fast. It's just going to outspeed that Scrafty. Cuddle did get a good riding team. Mm-hmm. Switches it out for the Cypher, uses Roost, and it's back up to the top. Withdraws the Cypher, out comes the burned Pidgeotto. Goes for the Volt Switch. Pidgeotto survives the Volt Switch somehow. He has to switch out, out comes the... Oh, I forgot he even had a Magneton. <laughs> Where have you been hiding that? Yeah, I forgot he had one. She uses Roost. She got two Pokemon with Roost. The bane of all Pokemon Showdown's existence is Roost. No one likes Roost except for when you're using it. Yeah, I like using Roost. Yeah, but when someone's using it against you, they can burn in hell. That's nice of you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Don't what... listen, Cuddle, okay? No, not Cuddle. He I'm... didn't tell you to just burn in hell. I'm no, not, he didn't. I'm not facing Cuddle. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm neutral with it at the moment. I'm not facing her, but I'm not using it. I'm neutral at it. But when it's against me, oh, rage-inducing. Roost comes out again. Nappy's sitting behind a little substitute doll. She's just going to keep roosting while Nappy's going to keep hidden powering. He must not have an electric move on that Magneton. It must just be pure tank. Out comes another hidden power. Takes it down. And now Cuddle is left with two Pokemon while Nappy's still with six. The Cypher comes out. 
Go with the Swords Dance. Hidden Power. Oh, not even half again. The Cypher can take a hit and deal damage. But Nappy's still got that mech, the uh, Substitute up. Another Swords Dance. She's going for the Cypher Sweep. It's on low health, but she outspeeds it. She could easily go for a Roost here. Again. Again. Oh, oh yeah. There, there is the Roost. Hidden Power comes out. Nappy's got to just hope for a critical hit or something. She goes for another Roost. Back up to full health with three times attack. It's just not looking good at the moment. Another sword stance, times four. This thing could just walk through the yeah, whole it's gonna, team. She's going to sweep him, isn't she? I think this Magneton has multiple hidden powers because some super effective and some aren't. I think it's just full of hidden powers. It didn't take super effective damage that time, but it did on the last one. Roosting back up, this Cypher is just going to go dangerous. Critical hit there. Unfortunately, it didn't. wasn't on the super effective hidden power if he does have multiple ones, like I suspect. Roost Cypher. Hidden power again. This Cypher is just waiting for the perfect time to strike. Quick attack takes out the substitute doll. Hidden power. There's the super effective one. Mm. This Cypher has to try. I want to see what this Cypher has planned. He goes for another hidden power. If Nappy just went for a substitute there, he could have possibly just kept trying to outlast Cypher's moves or Roost even. If he has multiple hidden powers, he could have outlasted the roost. But either way, Cypher is still sitting at times four. Magneton still going for those hidden powers. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Leftovers on the Magneton. Quick Attack does a lot of damage despite the resistance and quite defensive Magneton in general. 23% Cypher. I wonder what move it's going to use. Where is the Yay. roost? Hooray! <laughs> if it's not broke, don't fix it. Or don't break it away. I don't know. However the saying goes. Roost back up to 100%. Another quick attack. May be able to finish off Magneton here. So. There's the quick attack. Still alive just. Not quite. Nappy has to try and finish off the Cypher with the Magneton. Otherwise the Cypher is just going to run through the rest of the team with quick attack slash aerial ace. Nothing's going to be able to stand up to a times four Cypher. On the rest of Nappy's team. Especially if that's Scrafty being so low health already. Cypher's back up to top health. This Cypher is just game changing. My god, did it take a while to get here? We are on <laughs> we are on turn 46. And the Magneton's just gone down. The Magneton just went down. This was the longest battle so now far. Now let's see this Cypher sweep. There's the burn. Cypher loses half its health, half its attack stat. Still done quite a lot of damage, but the Rotom held on. Takes the burn damage, switch out. Out comes the Ladybug just to take a hit. Why not? Ladybug's not going to do much damage. Sacrificed it for some burn damage. Leftovers keeps it back up though. Out comes the Rotom. Um, it's probably going to. Oh, it goes for the Vault. Oh, oh! nearly kills it! You have to imagine if it done just a bit more, the burn probably would have finished it off with the leftovers. Oh, and there goes the Monferno to the Aerial Ace. Leftovers goes, Burn knocks it back down. Out comes the Rotom again. Are we going to roost this? No. No, okay. she returns the Cypher uh, to go for I the... I wanted the Cypher sweep. Yeah, she returns the Cypher to go for the Dustox. Return of the Rotom, go for the Scrafty. Return of the Rotom. Return Sounds of... like it should be a movie. Star Wars movie, Return of the Rotom. <laughs> down goes the Scrafty. Nappy has a Burmy and a Rotom left. Burmy is not going to be doing much, really. Start setting up the Quiver Dances. Cuddle had all of the stat building Pokemon. She had the Sword Dance Groudon. She had the Workup Pidgeotto. Sword Dance Cypher. Quiver Dance Dustox. She just had it all at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Electro Web isn't going to do much. And it just doesn't look good for Nappy at the moment. No, it looked like Nappy had this from the start, but yeah, it Nappy, doesn't look like it now. Nappy was looking good, but it just shows how a battle can turn around, especially in this random format. That Cypher was just game changing. Down goes the dust. Down goes the Burmy. Rotom's left. It's got to take out a Dustox and a Cypher. This Dustox is Quiver Danced up. Out goes the Sludge Bomb. And down goes Rotom. And down goes Nappy. 
So that was, if we have a look at the table, that was another win for Cuddle. She is doing very well in this competition at the moment. And it's another loss for Nappy, unfortunately. Let's hope next time round he gets a win. A stretched out loss. So that was that match, people. In the next match, it is going to be Hardy Tech Yo-Yo versus the Pair of Exiles. Yay! Us in another battle. So we'll see you for that part, guys. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.